All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And uh, I'm going to be doing a arena fight here. And we're going to be using um, a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren against Lord Vader here. We're going to be doing it against this Relic 8 team. So it's got a little bit of dodge, um, the cooldown Datacron, and then the 5%, uh, you know, max health and protection per Relic and all that stuff. So I don't know if my Kylo can take this team, but we're going to try it. So I'll show you guys my Datacron that I will be using. So it's got additional health. Oh, let me let me get to where it actually shows you what's inside of it here while I build my team. Um, so this is the comp I've been using to try to beat these Lord Vader teams in 5v5. I've been doing some practice here to try and get um, a little bit more of an, I don't know if advantage is the right word or try and, you know, get some practice in before the new 5v5 GAC season where we're going to be seeing this again. Um, so we have additional critical damage. We've got health steal, max health percentage and tenacity. Um, I wish I had, so this Hux thing is useless here. I just don't have the ability to reroll that. And honestly, um, if I was to, you know, I have another Datacron that I'm liking the way it's looking. Um, I like this one here. Uh, the only thing I need is uh, some health steal. The health steal is super nice and very, very important for this um, counter because without armor in here, my Kylo needs that additional survivability from the health steal. Um, so we're going to give this a shot, guys. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are down below. Um, so what you do, right, you're going to give Kylo the tank tech. And then Lord Vader does his stuff. And then we're going to stun Royal Guard. And then we can pass a turn to Kylo here, right? And I have my officer faster than Hux for this very purpose. So then we're going to go ahead and swipe. So we got we got Vader out already. You can pass this to Mul or to Kylo. Not really gonna do anything. And then you're gonna swipe again. And now there's no Maul, right? So we're you know we're doing better than you know probably what we you know than normal, right? Because without this dodge, it's a lot easier for us to start going. Um, let's just do that on Officer. Just keep him alive a little bit longer. Um, swipe again. So the reason you swipe, right? You guys have to remember the reason you want to swipe here is because, um, and do I want to do the hit here? Cause I can get a critical. There we go. Um, the reason you swipe as much as possible with this team is because the swiping is what actually, um, builds his mastery. And then the reason that I did what I just did there is um i want to build my ultimate charge as well so by hitting lord vader when he's got like max health like when he's got here i'm landing a critical hit i'm building up my ultimate charge um the one thing with this lord vader datacron that is a little bit harder for like this lord vader is that we can get ultimate a lot faster because of how quickly we took out their Maul, right? Maul is so important for Lord Vader to get his ultimate ability. So we're just going to keep going around here. All right, we got another critical hit. And then I think we should get into ultimate now. So there's our alt. Lord Vader almost has his. So now we can go in here and you're just going to swipe, right? It's all about swiping here. So this is really good timing for us. We hit our ultimate right around when Lord Vader hits his. And so we're just going to swipe away. Doesn't matter who you hit at this point. Lord Vader's going to heal up. And then we're just going to swipe. And I'll swipe again here. All right. And then I'm going to just take out Royal Guard. All right. So now <laughs> dodge. But this is where the like... The health steal comes into play. Look at that. 400k health right there. That's super nice. We're just going to do basic. We're going to save that poke for when Kylo, for when Lord Vader heals up a little bit more. 
because as he heals up, we can then land critical hits again. See, we're not landing critical hits, and that's really how you have to take out Lord Vader. I still don't think we can crit there. Yeah. So now we're just going to have to wait for him again. Um, and hopefully the whole point with this battle is that, one, we land hits. But like you see there, he's really ramping up his damage. So we've just got to kind of time our hits and make sure that we can, you know, avoid that from happening. So we'll go here again. All right, we might need to go into ultimate here just to... Yep. All right. That was a good call. Oh, and he dodged it. That's not good. Okay. Can we poke him here? Poke. There he goes. Um, yeah, guys. So that's the whole strategy right there, right? You want to just build up the stacking mastery. Obviously, this Lord Vader didn't have a ton of dodge, right? So, and him only being Relic 8 certainly helps. But again, um, doing this in Arena, right, against datacrons that hopefully i would more likely see in my grand arenas um so he's got six percent dodge accuracy um the decreased damage definitely helped him out a little bit but overall guys you saw the strategy there the entering ultimate what that did at that time yes you're not going to get the three turns there but i was probably going to die the second lord vader would have hit me or anything so the whole point was to get down there, get a little bit more health steal, and give me a chance to try and take him out. So that worked out really well. Um, now, as always, guys, in every video, we're going to celebrate that win with our king, with the one who, even though he is, isn't in our team, he's always in our hearts, Wampa. We're going to say that you are our king, and we love you. Guys, that's the end of the video. Like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.